of Cain and Hevel, that the hate of Cain, and the reason that Cain brought Mikriya Adama, that he brought from the vegetation and not from the animals like Hevel, is because Cain felt that there was no difference between human beings and animals, and that they were of equal value, and therefore one could not use animals at all in the service of man. And the Sefer Ikrim points out that this is kfira, this is heresy, but HaKadosh Baruch Hu very clearly <coughs> made human beings different. At the basic level, um, to borrow language from the Balataya, that we have in the show, which is a chelot mi kami, mi kami, mal mamosh, we have of us our neshama, which belongs to, under the kisei akovoid, that means animals only have a nefesh bahamis, they have an animalistic soul, and then when HaKadosh Baruch Hu, in the Torah says, Vayipach da'apov, nishmas chayim, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu breathed into Adam's nostrils, a breath of life, so as Unkulis points out, that the ability to speak, the ability to make choices, you were different, right? You put, a, you put a, a piece of meat in front of a lion, there's no choice, there's no volition, it's going to eat the piece of meat, or the human being, whatever it may be. You put a piece of, you put a peanut butter and jelly sandwich in front of a human being, there's going to be a whole husband. Am I hungry? How hungry am I? Do I like peanut butter and jelly? To whom does the sandwich belong? Again, now how hungry am I if it belongs to someone else? Maybe I can steal. I'm preparing this year now, based on the Gemara Baba Kamut of Samak, or my trip to Eretz Yisrael. I'm not still asking about Mamin Chaveira, that very question. So the Sefer, so, so the Sefer Ikrim says that this was the hate of, of, um, of uh, Kayin. If a person wants to be a vegetarian because they believe that it's more healthful, the doctor told them that uh, they shouldn't eat meat, that's, that's fine um, in terms of this very issue. The only question that remains to be answered is the one that I foreshadowed yesterday. And that is, it would appear to be a problem. On the other hand, Shabbos, the halacha is you're not required to eat meat. I know we all eat tov, but the truth of the matter is, Shabbos has a din of oinik. Whatever you happen to like. Most people like tov. But if you don't like tov, if you like chvesen, if you like pizza, it'd have to be a probably cold pizza. But if you like, well, that's a way to keep it warm, too. If you like tuna, was you warm. <laughs> fish, that's what you can eat on Shabbos. But on Yom Tov, this seems to be a problem. Why? Because the Gemara in Sochim and Dabkuftes says, Tanya and Beseiro Oimeh, Bizman Shabbos HaMikdash Kayim. When there was a Beis HaMikdash, then clearly, Ein Simcho Elo Bibaso. Then there was a requirement to eat of the Shlomim, of the Korban that was brought on Yom Tov. Yom, She'ein Beis HaMikdash Kayim. Now that there is no Beis HaMikdash, ain't Simcha Elo Biyayin. We have Simcha through wine. There is no carbon. So when you read the Gemara, just the way I read it, it sounds like that nowadays all you have to do is drink some wine, let's say a Rabias of wine, and that's enough. You don't have to eat meat because it seems that Rabbi Yudu Ben Misero left it out. The problem is, and that's how Taisus understands understand the simple meaning. But the Rambam, when he records the Halacha, records it differently, and tomorrow we'll read the Rambam and try to understand what the, what the Halacha Lameisa is. Okay, I want to ask you, I heard that this is a 